the years 2023 and 2024 have confirmed once again the rise of cybercrime in the Africa region. Cybercrime has significantly increased in Africa, becoming one of the major threats in the whole region. Following the results published in the recent Africa Cybercrime Threat Assessment published by Interpol in uh, April 2024, with inputs from our member countries and the private sector, the most common types of cyber crimes we have seen are ransomware and digital extortion, business email compromise, and online scams. That is why these are the three main types of cyber crime that, from Interpol side, um, this regional cyber drill will be focused on. These challenges underscore the importance of our collaboration. We are here today to ensure that we can, with the invaluable help of our partners, not only address these issues and tackle these types of cybercrime in an effective way, but also to find long-term solutions tailored to the unique needs of its country and region. For us, as Interpol, this regional cyber crime, uh, sorry, cyber drill is also an opportunity to bring investigators from all over Africa to launch the third edition of our large scale operation that we organize every year. Because this is the third edition of this large scale regional operation, and analyzing the results and the feedback we get from participants in previous editions, we keep improving the process and trying to combat cybercrime in a more effective way. For example, these years, including the CERTs. That's the reason why ITU is a crucial partner to bring together both law enforcement agencies and CERTs and close the gap that we know it exists in many countries between both organizations. Dear colleagues, this is just an example of what Interpol, and especially the Africa Joint Operations Against Cybercrime Project, can do to support you all. We provide and receive critical intelligence, identifying links between cases and developing tailored analytical solutions. We coordinate cross-border operations, ensuring seamless collaboration with specialized cybercrime contacts worldwide. In crisis, we can also deploy teams for direct support. And we build capacities through training, tools, and strategies, fostering a strong public and private partnership to leverage their expertise for our member countries. In all these dimensions, we partner with fellow entities from both the public and the private sector, some of them present here in this room to support this regional cyber drill. This is because at Interpol, we envision a unified fight against cybercrime, drawing a strength from the buyer sectors and expertise. Let us keep in mind that nobody in this room has a universal solution to end cybercrime. Just by working together, we can develop innovative solutions that not only address the current threats, but also anticipate and, and prepare us for future challenges. Mm -hmm.